so for me, my training is quite a lot of weights to get those muscles strong, all focused on my upper body mainly. And then also um, sort of longer duration, well, about 40 minutes cardio sessions to really get my heart rate going so I can sort of survive um, a three race day um, in winds sort of eight knots and over really, especially if there's waves. Sarah's fitness focus is a bit different. Yeah, I'm um, at the back of the boat, so obviously hiking and lots of lots of single-handed sailors have written to us sort of how do we increase our leg strength. And we have the luxury of going to the gym um, as part of our day. That's part of our, our training day. But sometimes you haven't got the time. So there's plenty of stuff you can do at home. Um, one thing I used to do was just literally against the wall, squat down with your legs at 90 degrees and just start, well, squat there and see how long you can hold it and try and sort of set yourself some some target times and beat them. I mean, and your legs are on fire and that burn is a good burn because it's just like the burn you get when you're sailing. Brian on Facebook, his 12-year-old son who sells oppies has made himself a hiking bench. Cool. Good skills. Something that's really important is just to make sure that when he gets on it, he um, does really intense um, bits of effort and then has a, has a rest for a minute or however long and then does another few minutes of really intense effort rather than trying to drag it out to be half an hour and actually by about sort of three minutes in, it's half hiking and then you kind of gradually creep a bit further in and by the end of EastEnders, you kind of sit, <laughs> you're off your hiking bench just sitting on it. So it's really important, I think, um, especially as you kind of start building up your endurance, um, to do really short bits of really intense effort. And then once you feel like you're not doing it anymore, have a rest. Right now, we are sort of in a, uh, a phase where there are no regattas. So it's real kind of open book learning and it's time for us to experiment loads and to try different things um whereas this time um you know six months before the trials it will all be about racing and kind of the attention to detail with our selected equipment um you know and, and that that stage we won't be experimenting we'll just be making good what we've got and we're really pushing that forward